Today's outcrop of the day is this beautifully preserved face of fossil mud cracks from near the base of the Jurassic Hampstead sandstone in North Queensland. This boulder comes from just up there where this coarse gritty sandstone is overlying a finer grain siltstone unit. And what's happened is that at the end of a big flood event that siltstone unit's been exposed to air and dried out to form mud cracks and then in the next big flood event this coarse gritty sand has washed over the top, filled in all the cracks and then over time the quartz grains have been cemented together to form a sandstone and then eventually after some erosion this big boulder has rolled off the outcrop to expose this beautifully preserved pattern underneath. In a previous video I concluded that the Hampstead sandstone represented a freshwater lake or a braided stream environment because I found lots of plant fossils in it. And in fact there's lots more plant fossils in the siltstone immediately below the outcrop just up here. Here's the outcrop of the siltstone and here's one of those leaf fossils preserved on a bedding plane. You can see the vein structure similar to what I showed in the previous video. But I could still have been in an offshore environment in that lake. Now it's absolutely clear that this represents a subaerial environment because the silt below this must have dried out in the air to produce those mud cracks. So we're either on the shore of that lake or somewhere in a braided stream system up on the surface of the earth.